today I have a makeup video for you and it's going to be slightly different to my normal makeup videos as I'm doing a celebrity inspired look and I don't know about you but I am a little bit obsessed with Jennifer Lawrence at the moment I think she's just beautiful her makeup always looks amazing so I'm going to try and recreate one of the looks that I saw her in quite recently and this was from the LA premiere of the Hunger Games Mockingjay film yes that's right so she basically had very glowy natural looking skin and then eyeliner around her eyes quite dark and thick and then a very kind of baby pink lip which I thought was really pretty so I'm going to try and recreate that today maybe put my own spin on it because let's be honest I don't look anything like Jennifer Lawrence which I did but I don't so I thought it'd be fun as well to try and use all low price drugstore products for this look too so they're all really budget friendly really affordable options and there's some really great products in here as well I'm sorry if this piece of hair is going to annoy you throughout the video it's it's already annoying me. So to get that really glowing skin look, I'm going to use an illuminator all over my face before my foundation. And this is the Body Shop's Radiant Highlighter. It's really nice because it's a very neutral toned shade. It's kind of a little bit pinky, but it gives an amazing glow to the skin. It's quite similar, I'd say, to NARS Illuminator in Copacabana, which I absolutely love. This one's not quite as shimmery, but then that could be a good thing too, because the NARS one does have a few kind of thicker bits of glitter, whereas this doesn't. So I'm pretty much just going to slap that on everywhere, sort of focusing on the high points of my face too. This is actually quite hydrating as well, it's really nice. So I'm going to be using a good old foundation favourite, this is Bourjois Healthy Mix. I think I actually used this in my last makeup video, that's how much I love it. But I'm going to be using something a little bit different to apply it today. This is the Real Techniques um, sponge, is it called sponge? Blending sponge, something like that. I've never actually used one of these before, I haven't tried the Beauty Blender, anything like that. So I'm going to give it a go and see, uh, see what happens. So I wet this and kind of wrung it out so it's a little bit damp. So hopefully it shouldn't absorb all my foundation onto it. And then I guess I'm just going to blend it in. I'm very used to using a brush and really kind of working it in a circle so this is quite different for me. It's actually quite nice, it gives a really airbrush finish. Basically looks like I'm not really wearing foundation. I can see this being quite time consuming though and I do like to kind of get my foundation on in less than a minute usually. Yeah, I do actually really like that. It feels very smooth, very nice. So onto concealer, and I'm going to be using another product from Bourjois. This is their CC Eye Cream. This is a really nice under eye concealer. It's really illuminating. And I'm going to take it down in a kind of V shape as well to really brighten up under there. I'm going to see as well if I can use the sponge to blend it in. Ooh. <laughs> that isn't quite as easy because this is quite thick, this ember. I can't really get it into my eye <laughs> without closing it. Let's try the other side. So then to conceal any redness and blemishes, I'm going to use Revlon's Colour Stay just because I find this is slightly more pigmented and better for around the face. There goes a the motorbike. <laughs> So I'm going to use just a really small amount of powder just to set down my T-zone and the places that I get oily. And this is Soap and Glory's one heck of a blot. This powder is so finely milled, it's amazing. It just feels so smooth and so soft, you can't even really see it on your skin. And then I'm just going to warm up my skin a little bit with the Maybelline Dream Sun bronzer. This is the bronzer. Oh. <laughs> And then I'm going to warm up my skin a little bit with the Maybelline Dream Sun. This is the bronzer blusher version. I'm just going to use the bronzer colour. And I don't really want to use a lot because it didn't look like Jennifer Lawrence really had anything on her skin apart from a little bit of blush and a tiny, tiny bit of bronzer. So I'm just really going to take it just around my hairline and through my cheekbones. So for blush, I'm going to use Rimmel's Santa Rose, and when in doubt, I always go for this blush. It just works with absolutely any makeup look, and it looks so natural as well on the skin. So to finish off my skin, I'm going to go back to the Body Shop Illuminator, and just kind of tap that again on the high points of my cheeks, down my bridge of my nose, and just sort of work it in to give more highlight to the skin. So 
So for brows, I'm going to use Soap and Glory's Archery Pencil, no surprises here. I can't rave about this enough, I think it's an amazing product, complete dupe for Anastasia's Brow Wiz, and just such a good budget price as well. So I'm just going to feather in lots of little brows at the front, and then just use slightly more pressure to define my arch. So Jennifer Lawrence had very dark black, almost quite smoky liner around her eyes and then just a very pale shimmery eyeshadow on so I'm going to start with a base. This is Maybelline's Colour Tattoo um, Leather Effect. This is the shade Creamy Beige and I really like using this as a base because it's still quite a natural colour but it really deepens any eyeshadow you put on top of it so it just kind of adds a little bit of warmth in there as well. I'm also going to take that on a little pencil brush and use it underneath as well. So the eyeshadow I'm going to be using is from Bourjois. This is one of their intense eyeshadows in shade 2, I think. I've had this for so long it's almost completely rubbed off the front because I've used it so many times. But it's just a really pretty, natural colour, but it's very shimmery. It's got very finely milled sparkles in it, so they just sort of catch the light slightly. They don't look glittery at all. They're not too in your face, but they give a really pretty shimmer to the eyes. So I'm just going to use that all over my lid, and she did have it quite high up. It doesn't add a great deal of colour, but it's more for just the sort of shimmery finish that it has. So I'm going to start building up the eyeliner with L'Oreal's Super Liner Gel Matic. And I've chosen this one because it's quite smudgy and I want to sort of blend the liner in so it's not a harsh line. And I'm not going to take it all the way to the very end. I'm just going to do sort of two thirds because Jennifer didn't have it quite into the tear duct. So I'm going to start blending that out again with a little pencil brush and just really work it in to build up a bit of colour but not have such a harsh, intense line. So I'm just blending it away until it's almost completely gone and then building the colour back up again. So she did have a little bit of a wing, but it was very smudged out, very subtle. So I'm actually going to use the same eyeliner, but on an angled brush and just put a tiny little bit of it on there and just very gently add in a tiny little wing. It almost kind of came up from the bottom lash rather than being part of the top line. And then I'm basically going to do exactly the same thing underneath, but I'm not going to smudge the liner out just because it was quite clean and quite crisply cut under there. And I'm kind of not putting it on the waterline, but really working into the roots of my lashes. So in contrast to that quite dark liner around the outside of the eyes, I'm going to use this shimmery gold liner from number 7. This is one of their Stay Perfect Shade and Define pencils. And I'm just going to use that in the inner corners of my eyes, in the tear duct, just to brighten everything up a bit. So that's pretty much all there is to the eyes, it's just a very simple black liner look. So I'm going to curl my lashes and add mascara. L'Oreal Miss Manga mascara for this, of course. I just, I just love it. And Jennifer Lawrence looked like she had absolute lashings of mascara on. It looked really thick, really clumpy. So I'm just going to put loads of this stuff on. So all that's left are the lips, and I'm going to use a combination of two products. I'm going to use this lipstick here from Bourjois. This is the Rouge Edition in shade 3, which I think is called Pesh, Peach, something like that. And then on top of that, I'm going to use Topshop's Lip Cream in the shade Witty. And this is pretty much the same colour I think that she's wearing, but the Topshop Lip Creams are quite thin and they're not completely opaque, so I'm going to use this underneath to kind of darken it up a little bit. I forgot how much I love these Bourjois lipsticks. They're so pigmented, but they're really, really moisturising at the same time. I actually really like this combination of lip products, I think it makes a really pretty pink. So that's the finished look, and I hope you enjoyed watching that. Let me know if you'd like to see maybe a similar video to this in the future, and I will see you all soon.
Go away.